so here again we've got half of the part uh, cut in half on this space this time instead and we've applied some uh, anti-symmetry conditions in our motion study um, in our FEA analysis sorry and uh, as you can see from these arrows it's constrained in the z-axis and in the x-axis So, uh, hopefully, we'll find out that it's got the same results as our original part. And let's apply the stresses and animate that. And here we can see that, yeah, the stresses are pretty much as you expected. If we look at the underside, it's um, approximately the same as uh, the larger part, as we can see here. When we animate the larger part, it's got the same locations and same maximum stresses as the half of it. And when we go into the displacement and animate that one as well, um, we can see that it's doing the same thing again.